Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, annual salaries. This is standard 6.14H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So the table blows shows the annual salary of four jobs, the average for copywriter, librarian, elevator technician, and aircraft mechanic. So based on this information, how much more will an elevator technician make than a librarian over 10 years? So we've got these two elevator technician and a librarian. And it seems like that's a pretty simple uh, mathematical problem. It's a, it's a little multiplication and subtraction, which is what we'll do. But really what we're looking for in this particular standard are advanced degrees. So advanced degrees either being college, uh, with the elevator technician, it's most likely a trade school. So it doesn't always have to be college. But you notice here that this elevator technician has got a much higher average annual salary than copywriter, librarian, aircraft mechanic. And it's because it re requires some advanced training and some advanced degrees uh, from a trade school. That's very specific information. And the more technical you get with a particular skill, uh, you're not just a mechanic, uh, you're working with elevators here, uh, then the more specialized you can become. And when you get a specialized degree, typically that means you are more highly trained and there's a lot fewer people that know your skill set than you, which means you're going to be in more demand and you're going to have a higher annual salary. So that's what we're trying to learn on this problem in the standard is getting more of that advanced degree and that specialized degree and that specialized training. So let's just do a little bit of math. What I'm going to do here is rather than multiplying both of those by 10 to begin with, because we do have to annually do it over 10 years, uh, I'm just going to subtract the two right now and then multiply that difference by 10. So we have an elevator technician and a librarian. So let's just subtract those 71, 900, librarian, we've got 54, 407. Like I said, not very difficult uh, math here. We do have to subtract across zeros, but we're sixth grade. Shouldn't be that difficult here, but let's just go ahead and do it. We can't borrow from the tens place for the ones place. We have to go all the way over to the hundreds place. So I'm going to take 100, leaving 8. But remember, that 100 doesn't break up into 1s. It breaks up into 10 tens, because 10 tens make 100. Now I'm going to take one of those 10s. I'm leaving 9 tens. I've got 10 ones. Now I'm good to go. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 0 is 9. 8 minus 4 is 4. Oh, so close. Now I need to regroup again. 7 ten thousands. I'm going to take a 10,000, leave 6, I'm going to break the 10,000 into 10 1,000s, it's going to be 7, 17,493. Now, look at this. You see that right there? Incorrect answer. That's the trick in this particular problem because I need to figure out what this is for 10 years. So I need to multiply this by 10. Very, very, very tricky problem. So if I were to multiply this by 10, we don't need to actually do like the, the five by two multiplication. We can just remember our multiplication rules. Multiplying by 10 means you simply add a zero to the end. So it, and then obviously we have to move our comma over a little bit. So it's 174, 930. So my answer here is A.